Hi everyone, happy Pride. Before this wonderful month has come to an end, I wanted to make a video going through all of the Rick Riordan characters that are queer in this wonderful book series, and my god, did I find more than I thought were in this series. So I'm just going to start listing them. There are 26 people that are queer. 24 of 26 are explicitly stated. The other two are pretty much queer, but they're not explicitly stated in the book. So let me just go through this. So we're going to start with Blood of Olympus that came out in 2014, which for anyone wondering was before gay marriage was even legal in the United States. That did not happen until June 26, 2015. So in Blood of Olympus, Nico is canonically gay. Will is canonically bisexual. His, you know, they're not together yet in that book, but it's very obvious that they like each other, and they're going to get together very soon after that if they're not completely together by the end of that book. Reyna is asexual and aromantic, and I look really happy about that because I'm asexual. I don't know if I'm aromantic, but I know that I'm asexual. So I didn't even realize when I read these books the first time, when I read Blood of Olympus, that she was aromantic and asexual because I didn't even know at that point what asexuality even really was. Magnus Chase. Magnus himself is pansexual, Alex is gender fluid and his partner, Loki, you know, the god, is obviously gender fluid and also bisexual, Blitzen and Hearthstone are the two that are not explicitly canon, but it's essentially extremely obvious that they are a gay couple, Magnus just doesn't pick up on the fact or say it out loud, Mother William is a character who is a non-binary two-spirit individual, that Thomas Jefferson Jr. knows in this book series. Trials of Apollo. If you're going to make a book series about Apollo, you should have so many queer people, it's actually kind of absurd. So first off, there's Apollo, who is bisexual. Hy Hyacinthus, who is gay, who is a past lover of his. Athea and Josephine, who are lesbian, a lesbian couple. Commodus, who is a villain in that series and is an ex-partner of Apollo. Mia and Poison Oak, who are a lesbian couple. Sun and the Star, the book that is about Nico and his boyfriend Will going on an adventure to save the Titan that saved Percy and Annabeth in Hades. Or, not in Hades, in Tartarus. Piper, who comes out as bi or pan, she's not sure which at this point. She has a girlfriend, Shell, who is could be a lesbian or also bi or pan. Can you think of another children's book series that has a sapphic couple, both indigenous and living on a reservation together? Apollo Montez, Malcolm Chase, and Jake Mason, who are all characters that we know of from other books. Malcolm Chase and Jake Mason are both characters that are mentioned in the first five Percy Jackson books, but they are characters that are mentioned because all three of those characters come out as being queer after Nico comes out. Also, the gods of Artemis, Athena, and Hestia, who are basically all aromantic and asexual in some sort of way, just based on who they are as gods. Like, the only kids that Athena has are born through, like, her mind melding, basically, and coming out of her head, as opposed to the regular way that people get pregnant. Hestia has never had any children, and she is a goddess. Everyone loves her. Um, and Artemis, of course has her group of lesbians that run around in the forest together. So Zeus and Poseidon, who are bisexual, because they definitely have partners with both, with all kinds of genders, and also if you're Zeus, animals. Editing me, I forgot Ganymede, who is the goddess of homosexual love and desire, who is in Chalice of the Gods, which came out last October. If y the things that you love don't have this much representation, they don't have any excuse.